chiseled details, you have a vision. The statue comes to life and embraces. That shrine seems to have Champion of the gods. What is this place? Let's speak with our god. What's Fane's god? Amadia. Amadia. What are you doing here? I, the giant, takes notice of its charges. Ask away, she. Indeed. Why is Sir Laura here? Zorostissa, Duna, Tirsindilius, Amadia. Enigmatic figure. They changed this. This is Lucian the Divine. In internal war. Zanteza for Imps. Rogir. They all fight Lucian the Divine. Yeah, they all fight Lucian. This is what's changed. Yeah, it's fucking Lucian, for sure. Mysterious figure. Enigmatic figure. Level 25. They all fight against him now. Alright, they changed this. So far I noticed three small changes. But that's about it. Let's speak with the Divine. You walk towards the figure on the dais. But wisps of mist start to cloud your vision. With each step, the mist gets thicker. Why would I want to go with lone wolves? It's ten times easier, Dusk. It's way more, in more interesting to have full man party than lone wolf. Lone wolf is crap. Easy way out of the game. Fane. Fane. Yeah, they change icons for the gods still, right? They change how they look. Plus Lucian the Divine over there. You push through the fog, chasing the voice at breakneck speed. You trip and start to fall, but you look around in shock as the mist clears. You are standing in a library. Your library. You hear a cough behind you and turn to see your assistant, Harina. She hands you a thick book. Observations on the Universal Veil. You look at her in confusion as she explains, You asked me to bring you your research, Master Fane, for your guest. As you walk through the library, Harina expresses her condolences. It is a shame that the king forbade further investigation into the veil. It was a fascinating topic. She leads you to a door, your study, and pushes it open to introduce your visitor. You step through the door and see the Lady Amadia, one of the seven lords. You turn, but your assistant is gone. The door is closed. You are alone with this unexpected visitor. I must say, you created quite a stir earlier, dear Fane. The other lords and I were quite impressed with your research. We believe the King's decree that you should not investigate the veil was misguided. We would like to view more of your research. And I see you have already brought me some reading material. Kindly give it here, my boy. Ask her what she's doing here. Exactly the king forbade any further work on this. The king, the king. Is he truly all our people ever talk about? What of knowledge, young one? What of discovery? She snatches the book from your hands. Thumbing through it, engrossed by your research. Yes. Yes, quite fascinating. A barrier of pure source. Do you truly think this veil is the key to unlocking a new future? King thinks it's dangerous. Yes, so we gathered. 
We found it strange that the king would refuse you the chance to explore something that could be so beneficial to our people. But perhaps there are still paths we can walk. Perhaps. There is a crash of timber behind you, and you can feel hands grabbing you. You are dragged backwards as Amadia screams. The screams fade to nothing, as does the scene before you. You're standing on the cold, glowing stones once more, with Lady Amadia before you. Fane, darling Fane. I had to know. I had to be sure. If you were not who you claimed, it could have been a disaster. Disaster. Who? Anyone, my child. Anyone could be a threat. No one in this world has escaped the madness unleashed by the king. <laughs> Exclaim that you've seen creatures that look like Relic Duna and the others. They're worshipped as gods, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh, God. With Fade, it's a different perspective than with the other characters. Yeah, with Fade, it's completely different. That's why I took Fade. I think I haven't played with only one character as my main character, and that's Beast. I played with Red Prince, played with Lass, played with. Play with Seville. I play with Ifan. As a summoner. I haven't played with Fane. I haven't played with Beast. Exclaim that you've seen creatures that look really Duna and the others. They're worshipped as gods for goodness sake. Ah, but we are gods. We ascended beyond our previous forms. But we had no choice. Not after what we discovered. We know why the king forbade your research. He already knew about the Veil, Fane. He was draining its power, leeching from it to build up his own strength. When we confronted him about this betrayal, he used his power to try and subdue us, to turn us to slaves. The king wanted to enslave his own people, that doesn't make sense. Uh, did it fail? Did they discover what was behind it? The veil did not fall, but it was weakened. The wall was cracked. Yeah, I did. And the king I was did. using his ill-gotten power to widen those. We fought, of course. The king scorched our land, but by uniting, we overcame his evil. He was banished beyond the veil he had tried to subvert, but our victory was hollow. Our people. Oh, my child. The biggest change now in Definitive Edition so far is the shit over there. All the Divines are fighting Lucian the Divine. That's the biggest change. They were erased, destroyed utterly. We seven were all that remained. I fear that it is, but you must steel yourself. The fight is not yet done. For centuries, the king has been searching for a way back into our world. And beyond the veil, he found the force that would help him do it. The void. The moment we discovered the void, we understood the veil was created to hold it at bay by powers even more ancient than us. But thanks to the king, that evil has been seeping through the cracks. We have contained both ever since. But now, alas, they are winning. What changed? I fear we are no longer united. I fear... well... Amadia turns and gestures to the scene behind her. 
Down below, you can see the six other gods fighting, clawing at each other, everyone desperately trying to get the upper hand. Over the centuries, the drip of void into this world corrupted the others while they played with their mortal races. I fear it is too late for them, for us. But you, Vane, you have been untouched by it all. The world needs a power to protect it, and you are the key, Vane. But you have fallen so far. You haven't fallen, you were pushed, it's all the king's fault. Of course, my child. All you did was to seek knowledge. The true crime was your punishment. And you will have justice. But first, you must return to the world and escape that island. But you will return more powerful, as your first step towards righting the wrongs of this world. I grant you my blessing and give you the ability to bless in turn. <laughs> it's completely different than the original version. Amadia stretches her hand out. And more clearer, to be precise, it's more clearer. You feel a sensation Way more that you clearer. have not felt in a very, very long time. You may have noticed I have tried to help you on your journey. That I can bless the very water beneath your feet. Now you have that power for yourself. And this is only the beginning. More and greater powers await you, if only you will seek them. But before you begin, a word of warning. I gather that you travel with a pack of these lesser creatures. <laughs> lesser creatures. Uh... It is only natural after so long spent alone, but you must be wary. Some of these creatures are more dangerous than they seem. They are Godwoken, the chosen champions of the other six gods. And then there is the one you know as Losa. She is something else, something wicked. You must beware of her above the all. The child of the devil. For they will all walk the same path as you, but they cannot be allowed to reach its end. You must be the one. Only one of our people can wield this power. Only you, Fane. She lays her hand on your skull, and you see it clearly. The others, the gods, Amadia, and you. You are her chosen. You are her godwoken. So go forth into the world with my blessing, dear one. Heed my words and go. Sibyl is pensively tracing a new name on her arm. Gilded letters in an ancient alphabet. Sure, it's nothing really. My own name. A little gift from Tyrs and Dilius. <laughs> Leave it to a god to be overly dramatic. Must be a celestial party game. Or maybe he wanted to teach me a lesson. If the latter, he has much to learn. What do you want, Sir Laura? Wait, what do you want? Blessed branches we've returned! Every second we spent in that hellish place was a second the great acorn drew closer! Interesting. You thought it was interesting, Quercus. Do you know what's interesting? Watching an entire world be strangled by the roots of doom. Seeing the giant's races fall like leaves in frost. Hearing the screams of... I don't know what you're talking about. I am perfectly calm. Anyway, as interesting as that cold hellscape might have been, it does not solve our problem. Oh, Judas, we please. are here to stop the great acorn, not hide from it. It's already helping more than it knows, Quercus. The fate of the world depends on our ability to research a spell to protect Rivalon. We need to travel across the land, gathering clues, experimenting with different magics, and come up with a spell to shield Rivalon from its doom. Of course, for us to do that, we must avoid being eaten by the servants of the Great Acorn. And that 
is where our big foolhardy shield comes in. What are you doing for me? The shield thinks saving its world isn't something it should be grateful for, Quercus. How can something so large be so small-minded? No, I am not going to share our magic with it. I don't care how much you like it, Quercus. I... Very well, I cannot give it magic, but I can teach it how to forge one spell, if it will keep you happy. One. So you have a use then, do you? The squirrel reaches out, touching your foot with a delicate paw, and you feel your mind open. You can see the forces of magic and see how to combine them in a new way. There, maybe now your pet will have a fighting chance. Yes, yes, you're welcome, but can we please get on and save... Erratic Wisp. I know what it's for. Ah, sh shit. It's basically a tutorial for new players. Sir Laura is a fucking tutorial for new players. For consoles, to be more precise. Those who play game on consoles. All of these spells, you could already craft them. But you had no tutorial for them. You need to mix up. And eventually you got the spell. Uh, what happens is you combine a physical spell with magic, physical skill with magic skill, and then you get something good out of it. Now Sir Laura teaches us how to do it through crafting. That's his purpose. In recipes, weapons, potions, grenades, armor, grimoire. Where have you placed it? I think it said Eretic Wisp. The Eretic Wisp skill book. You combine any editor skill book with any Huntsman skill book and you get Eretic Wisp skill book. Fucking stupid. That's his meaning. And I was wondering what it's all, up, all about. We'll see if it has any more uses, but I think it's only to combine skills. Classic tutorial to combine skills. Alright, we're done here. We have Bless in Source Points. We have Jars. What should be... Ah, yeah. This should be the next thing. Dramatia Sanctuary... Although I need I need a source point. Fuck. Let's travel around. Let's do that. 